What's going on guys in today's video I'm gonna go with the flow and that's the result. I have no idea what we're gonna create and usually I wouldn't do these types of videos because they are kind of all over the place but we'll see maybe the outcome will be good. So I'm gonna jump straight into After Effects and today I'm not gonna be explaining every single thing. Whenever I apply some effect I won't be covering every single detail. I need to create an animation for one of the YouTube videos. So basically that's gonna be some sort of a banner that will say that there's only 24 hours left. But that's about it. Everything will be created on the go. So I'm gonna use resolution 2560 by 1440 because 4k might get a little bit choppy so i'm just gonna upscale it later on anyway let's hit okay i have no idea what we're gonna do here um maybe let's start with the text 24 hours okay <laughs> we got something that's good maybe let's duplicate that text i'm gonna put it here then i'm gonna move over to character and i'm gonna swap it for the stroke and let's scale it up turn down the opacity and also i'm gonna decrease the stroke size um, should we already start with camera? Maybe I'm gonna create a new camera. We need a preset 35 millimeters to node camera is fine. Let's hit okay. Now we need a new node object. I'm gonna put it here right above the camera. Cam control one. By the way, did you guys notice that After Effects 25 is so much faster than the previous versions? I'm really surprised. I have no idea what they have done, but they've done the right thing. I'm gonna turn on the 3D layer on everything. And now the thing I don't really like whenever you work with horizontal videos and you open up the second window, everything is so small and barely noticeable. While you work with the vertical videos, it's just so much easier to see. I'm just gonna grab that stroke, move it away, scale it up. Okay, we got something. I'm gonna go back just to see more. Anyway, I'm gonna probably create a keyframe for position and rotation. Maybe not for all of them, just for Z rotation. I'm gonna move the keyframes forward and maybe let's get back like that. I'm gonna use flow, that graph, let me show you. We definitely need to make it faster. Maybe let's add a little bit of movement to the stroke. Set a keyframe for position, put it somewhere here, and we're gonna slide in that text. We're also gonna set a keyframe for opacity. Okay, that looks bad. And now I feel like we could actually make a subtle movement going forward. So I'm just gonna parent one to two, like that. Go upwards. Hmm. Let's use the mid graph. I don't really like that we don't really have a rotation here. Let's select these four keyframes and apply the same graph. Let's scale up that text. We're gonna duplicate that text and we're gonna actually open up the second window. And I need to get that text in front of the camera. We need to rotate it. I'm gonna type in to get 30% off. It's kind of horrible that I'm doing it right now because the promotion is over and you can't really get the 30% off, but you can still get all my assets that speed up the workflow in the description below. Kind of need to have one of the text animations. Preset, put on rotation. It's not really visible. I'd rather use opacity keyframes. And we should probably add something in the background. I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle tool. Then I'm gonna turn on the stroke and I'm gonna turn off the fill. Let's decrease the pixels. And we're just gonna switch it into 3D, put it here, and I'm gonna increase the scale, maybe two pixels. It feels really weird to create horizontal animations. I've been constantly creating vertical animations and it just seems so different. We can just put it somewhere here. So we're just slightly passing through that rectangle. Obviously we need to add keyframes to opacity for that text and let's easy ease them. I feel like we could select this, increase it because it's kind of important, change this text to something else, or maybe just change the font style, medium, then decrease and it looks better. I don't know if I like that text in the background. I'm gonna probably delete it. And I'm gonna just rotate that text a little bit so it's even. Put it somewhere in the middle. We really don't have a lot of time for this animation because the video is coming out tomorrow. It's currently 2 a.m. almost. Let me guys know in the comments if you like editing during the night. I'm a night owl, but I've been recently forcing myself to waking up early. What do we do next? What do we do next? Let me just see that with motion blur. I don't know about you, but I really like adding effects too early. The best way to add the effects is at the very end, because that's the best for performance. But sometimes I just can't hold myself back and I want to see things right now. Jesus, posterized time is so good. I just feel like it's extremely empty in the background. I would like to have something there. I'm going to grab HD for the best performance. And I'm going to take three of those. 
turn them into 3D. By the way, you can swap everything that is in the frame here. And I'm gonna probably put them here, then grab one, put it here. I'm gonna take the third one and with the position move it away and let's see how it looks. We need to definitely take that motion essence one and move it away. It'd be good to have some movement for the three Polaroids. So we're just gonna adjust it. Now I feel like it has to come from the top. And then this one could also slightly rotate it. All right, that's pretty good. We just need to smooth out the keyframes. And also we're gonna turn down the opacity. And also we're gonna keyframe that opacity and drag it down. It's already much better whenever you have something in the background, it's just making so much difference. It's adding depth, it's making the whole scene more realistic. I should actually add some stuff from the Motion Essence pack since it's a promotion. I'm just thinking which one. Maybe the ripped paper would be good. Turn it into 3D, select these all, recenter them, and with rotation, we're just gonna make it properly set up. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. We could just offset it a little bit. Okay. Also, I will turn down the opacity to make sure that the text is the most important here. And I'm just thinking maybe adding invert on top would be a good idea. Nah, it's not gonna work because we don't really have the opacity at 100% here. It wouldn't really make sense. But if we had a white background, actually not white, black background, I would just make a flesh. And from here, let me just change the color for this. From here, we can duplicate null one. We can parent the last one to this one. And we can zoom in into the 30% and make it kind of full screen. Jesus, after I added so much zero rotation, it's really hard to center. Starting to look pretty good. We're gonna actually trim to get 30% off here. And then we're gonna delete the last part of the text and the beginning of the text. And we're gonna make sure that 30% is in the middle. And we're also gonna change the font for something else. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, it's going too much to the left. What if we add a deep glow to this? You know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna duplicate the text. We're gonna change it into off. I'm gonna put it somewhere in the background and scale it up. Then I'm gonna turn down the opacity. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let me just duplicate the last null. I'm gonna delete the last keyframe. I'm gonna parent this one to this one. And then I feel like we could go backwards just a tiny bit. First of all, we need to apply one of the graphs. And I feel like now we should create a new solid. I'm just gonna turn it into white, hit okay. Turn on the 3D layer, recenter it. We're gonna rotate it. And then I'm gonna take that layer and get it closer so everything's white. I'm gonna put it here and we're just gonna fade it in. Like I said, these videos are all over the place but I feel like I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm literally getting an animation for tomorrow's video and at the same time I'm creating another tutorial. That's low-key time saving. <laughs> now we're gonna create another text on everything. I'm gonna change it to black, recenter it, turn on the 3D layer and we need to get it in front of the white solid. Now rotate it and scale it down to let's say 30. We're gonna fade it in with the opacity keyframes. And maybe let's create a little bit of movement, just like that. Okay, okay, not bad. All right, and now I feel like we should add the text with the promo code. Maybe slide up, then we're gonna take 4K, put it here. We're just gonna replace the text, use code late. Then I'm gonna delete these two. Let's go back. All right, and we should actually turn it into 3D. Put it in front of the screen. Where is it? It's behind the white solid. We're very close to the camera. We should be actually further away. So I'm gonna duplicate the last null, hit you, delete the last keyframe, parent this one to this one, and then we're just gonna move backwards. 
like that. I'm going to use shadow movement for this. That's how it looks. Perfect. And now we need to adjust text essence. Okay, rotation like that. And we're going to go here. I'm going to turn on the color and I'm going to drag that color below the third text. So ladies white. We're going to adjust the timing. Okay, we're going to go back to that null and I'm going to actually hit P for position then hold shift click R and we're going to add some keyframes for rotation. And I would like to move with the rotation so we can see the text. And I'm going to select all the keyframes and I'm going to use one of the graphs. Okay, I feel like we need to extend these keyframes for a bit more shallow movement. I don't know if I like that movement. And from here, I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to turn it into black. And we're just going to fade it in. We actually don't need to do that because we set keyframes before. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use it because it might not match really what I'm saying in the video. I feel like we could go into that text and change it into red color. I feel like we could go into motion essence and then I'm just going to add the text at checkout. Gonna change the font, mm, regular like that. That looks pretty minimalistic. I'm gonna create a movement for this as well. Let's add motion blur. It has to be actually somewhere here. Let's just see if the timing is right over here. Oh, it should be a bit earlier. All right, and just a sharp movement towards the text. So I'm going to duplicate the null, delete the last set of keyframes, parent, and we're going to zoom into that text. Okay, let me pick a pretty sharp graph in the middle. Let me just show you. Okay. Okay, and we're going to finish the animation here. By the way, After Effects crashed. We all know the feeling. And I remember that I changed the color here to red. Now one of the most important things is going to the camera. I'm gonna open up transform, alt click point of interest, type in wiggle, 2, 20 and now we're gonna have wiggly screen. Kind of curious how it would look with the posterized time. Hmm, I don't know, I think I like it more without it. Let's add vignette. I'm gonna turn off the posterized time effect. I'm gonna actually add deep glow to that text. Or maybe you know what we could do. I've recently used it for my thumbnail. I'm just gonna duplicate that layer. I'm gonna solo out this layer. Then we're gonna turn it into the stroke. I'm gonna turn off fill. I'm gonna select this. Change it into white color. So everything remains the same. And we're just gonna add mask to the bottom. I'm gonna feather it out like that. And we're gonna add deep glow to this. So only the bottom is kind of lit up. Looks pretty cool to be honest. I'm gonna take that layer, put it below this one, and I'm gonna actually keyframe exposure. I just grabbed the screenshot from my store and I thought it'd be good to put it on top of that white background here. Where is it? We're gonna adjust it. Let's scale it up. I'm gonna turn down the opacity to let's say 20. Okay, we definitely need to play around with the opacity here to fade it in and fade it out. You can hit Alt R in order to reverse keyframes. And if you don't have that shortcut, you can go here, time reverse keyframes. So it's just gonna fade out now. I think that screenshot wasn't actually a bad idea, but I feel like we could scale up the text. It's fading out a bit too early. And maybe using a different font for the text here, actually a different style, could be more attention grabbing. Yeah, I feel like it's more readable right now. But we also need to extend that keyframe so the movement is remained. Let's turn on the motion blur on everything here. The time is running out. Let me know if you like these types of videos and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.